and welcome back. This is Slime Rancher with Miss Yvon. Uh, we are doing episode 9. If you were here earlier, you definitely saw what we did. We popped a couple Gordos and we're moving on from there. Uh, but in the meantime, absolutely positively, let's just jump right into it. This is Slime Rancher 2. I am preparing for the update on the 12th of Slime Rancher. Uh, for Slime Rancher 2, for new capes. It is still early access, so there's a lot to go. I still haven't... I need to get all the slimes so I can get them all. So I'm missing a few, clearly. A few things. Um, I know one of them is the Rock Gordo. And then one of them's gotta be... I don't see it. No, the Ringtail's there. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go different resources so we've gotten most of them so we need to go through and get the hen uh, the chickies to each of those and then there's one more kind I think uh, yes yes there is I remember now which one it is so now I got those which I didn't have before and I can get the rest relatively easy easily uh, mark all the scene that's just gonna make it easier Starlight Strand and Weather. Oh, come on, Slimefall. Even by the standards of Rainbow Island, Slimefall is an unusual sight with dozens of slimes raining down from the clouds above. As with many things, the slimes don't seem to be particularly bothered by it at all, but a rancher would do well to remain cautious. With so many new slimes dropped into an area at once, Slimefall can easily lead to a tar outbreak. Makes sense. Pollen. Rainbow Island is lush with trees and flowers, so it's not unusual to find clouds that cause tears of joy and sneezes of joy. As a reaction to the majesty of nature in full bloom. But nature on Rainbow Island rarely stops there. As pollen clouds are often a precursor to more aggressive forms of plant life expanding their reach. Which, hint hint, nudge nudge, more slimes. Uh, slime science basics, gadget modes... So we have sold some. I want to. Okay, so there's 16 here. There's three here that I haven't got. There's 31 there. Okay. So I want to go through and get all the places. Do all the things. So what I need is to pick up all the plorts from over here, get as much as we can, then we'll read that message. That's what I do, is I just shoot them back in there. Hit the button again. I did that the hard way. So yeah, it is optimal to feed them their favorite food because then you get twice as many uh, plorts per food and it just, it's better. That way I get eight plorts for four of these guys rather than just four. So let's see how much money we can make. We'll pick this up in a sec. So you can scroll with your mouse wheel rather than just changing one, two, three, four, or R. I just mouse wheel. Another message. So we have a few. Grab a 
grab a couple from here. The water is not a problem. Some good grinding, and you can get quite a few slime bugs pretty fast. I have all of these. I do not. And then I can go sell these. And then I can deal with that. This one first, since it doesn't actually matter. Okay. Let's see, can I buy the next one? We will see. Buy? Oh, it's 18 for each of them? Okay. Let's see how many of them I can get. If I can get most of them, that'd be great. I know I'm not gonna get all of them. So I just bought, you start with here, I just bought this one, this one, and this one. I still have to buy this one, and this one, but that's still um, a lot more places to put things. Now we have places to put slimes and more food to grow. in there so I have some. Okay. Check if money is the issue for upgrades. We are getting so much done this episode. So part of my problem is um I don't have things I need. So I need more crystal ploids and more bloom boom ploids. Need more phosphor ploids. Need rock ploids. I need tabby ploids. Still don't know what I need for those. I need more batty ploids. Upgrades I can't do anything with. Decorations I could do a couple here and there, but none are the ones I want. Um, I'll make one of those. Make one of those. Just so I have them. Now let's head over to the raccoon. Ooh, wait. I have things over here. And I have comms to do. And then I can go. Again, I have no attention span. Victor! Beatrix, I have something I must share with you about the AI. As you know, we have been exchanging questions with one another. Well, this back and forth became faster and more casual over time, almost like a natural conversation. I assumed it was simple, simply evolving and adapting to the style huh, to the style of talk it observed in me. But then something happened. Well, we had begun playing games of Go as we talked. 
a way I could further test its intellect and no doubt how it could test mine. These games would go long into the night and so would our conversations, feeling more and more natural even though I knew that the entity I was speaking to was just a complex collection of code. And then one day, as the sun was rising, it suggested just one more game. I said certainly, but I needed to make myself a cup of coffee if I were to stay awake for it. And it replied, me too. I just stared at the screen, not knowing what to say, but then suddenly, as if it knew what it had just done, it disconnected. I have not heard from them since, but I hope I do. Until then, I will wait, staying busy with my work as always, asking those questions that need answers, but I will do so with the go board ready for another game. Same day. Someday, anyway. Goodbye, Beatrix. I hope to talk again soon. Oh. Okay. So it was just telling me again that I had a message, because I didn't check it. I guess. Okay, let's go. Buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> Grabs resources, drops them off, goes. Honestly, um, when I get to a certain point, I do throw a whole bunch of them everywhere. The um, fabricator and the market links, because I it just makes life easier this way. Come here. You're edible. You're edible, therefore you're going with me. gonna go around the long way because I at least know how to get there no matter what. Honestly, I just went in a big old circle. Yeah, yeah, I did. Hmm. So close. Honk. Into ten. Perfect, this is one of the things we need. These. Nectar. Moon dew nectar, sorry. Not just nectar. Moon dew nectar. So as we go, we're gonna collect them because we need them. Uh, the nectar is the only thing the flutter slimes eat, so it is, that is a thing. 
They will fall, they will get eaten. Perfect. Perfect. I know where that one goes now. It's a shortcut. Oh gosh, too much pain. I'm outie. come up on my map. So now to go hunt down some ports for some things. Actually, let's get a new set of... Come here. There. I need a new slime to bring home. Honey and flutter both sound good. So many notifications about car insurance. I don't pay for mine. So I have those two. They love mint mangoes. Gotta grab some of these. That was one of those that went bad. Got it. Honestly, we just bring the flutters back. We just feed the honeys. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Now I have what I need for that. Okay, so honey and flutters are different, but I don't want... So I'm gonna end up 
have something with meat no matter what. Hmm. Ah! This is where I'm at. I don't have hunter slimes. I also don't have angler. I don't have hunter, I don't have angler. I'll grab a couple angler and do what I think should work best. Thank you. One more. We're going to split our bunny crystals. Our crystal bunnies. Because both eat a veggie rather than a meat. And I can make the, ve uh, the veggies grow faster than I can the chickens reproduce. So I think I'm going to break it and put it back together. We'll see. I also need a phosphor one, so... Hmm. New message at the comm station. Okay, so yeah. They're veggie no matter what. Not veggie and meat, just veggie. So what I'm thinking is I'll take couple of the crystal. I don't have room for them. I'm gonna go over here where I'm gonna have the phosphors in the long run. And we'll start with that. So let's put the phosphors in their food right there. Or So, cage. Then let's throw one here. Let's get a garden here. Okay. And let's get a coop back here. That way we have it just started. And then throw the mint mangoes here. And I have enough for high walls. Good, good. Two, four. Make them. Yeah! Oh no. Bonk. Gonna knock each other out, but that's okay. Now they eat meat and fruit. And then I don't want these to get out because they can jump higher than those. But that's a start and I don't want to risk any uh, tar outbreaks yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that, 
go back in there, hit that button, go back to harvesting. Like those are meat and veggie. I can feed them one or the other favorite. Sometimes it's just harder to get their favorite meat. do that and that and if you will give me just one moment I am getting a call
did is we took our extra honey ports and shoved them in with our flutter slimes because otherwise they were going to try and fly away as you saw. They probably still will. But now we have flutter ports that we can put away. And yeah, now they won't go anywhere and there's less chance of a tar outbreak. So there's that, we're gonna put these in the fabricator and then we'll go read that comms message. from Mochi. Hello Beatrix, guess who's the luckiest person in the galaxy? You are, because you've got a gift from THE Mochi Miles. I'll let that think in, sink in, go ahead and sit if you need to. Blueprint now available in the fabricator for the root arches. Thanks Mochi. <gasps> Bob! Bob. Sh Special delivery one. <laughs> Have a great chickens. Yay, rainbow lumps. So that is either a crystal or a rock slime. And that is a pink slime. Those are slimes in a coat. Alright, so we got that at least set up. We're gonna do a little more farming, feeding everyone. And then we're gonna call that good for this episode.
joining me for episode 9 of Slime Rancher. This was Missy Fun. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for joining me. We will see you in the next episode. And yeah, bye bye. <laughs>